because if it's an industry I know and one yes can change your life, why should the no's matter? and welcome back to my channel I told you I was gonna be posting more this video is about 10 things that I learned while being in this industry for 10 years I know. can't believe it's been that long and I also gotta go somewhere so we're gonna do this video while I take my look from day to night my first piece of advice is to treat your career like a business early on. Trust me, this is something that I wish I knew earlier. Don't be scared to wanna know what's going on, to ask for meetings, to talk to your team, to set up meetings, to be honest, to really take control and take charge because if you don't do it, no one else will. And at the end of the day, if you become successful in this, it can lead to so much more. So early on, treat it like a business and like know what's going on and talk to your team and walk in like it. Number two. Trust in yourself. Honestly, you have to learn to trust in yourself early on. You didn't have these thoughts and desires put in your head for no reason. There's something bigger than you happening. So sometimes it's really, really important. This brush is dirty. It's really, really important to trust yourself and to believe in yourself. When I first started modeling, I heard no for three years. I kept hearing that they already had a black model and all of these types of things. And thank God I didn't stop. So you have to really trust in yourself and believe in yourself. Number three, you have to invest in yourself. When I tell you, you can spend so much time on photo shoots that's not gonna do nothing for your career. When I tell you nothing, nothing so if you learn to invest early on and spend money with testing with the right photographer or collaborating with the right person collaborating i don't know why i said that like that but if you really invest in your career early on you're going to be able to skip years of trying to get a good book and get a good book early on which is going to place you in front of the right clients and you can book more jobs and eventually it's an investment right so you're going to make that money back you book one big job and that's going to cover all of it but if you don't invest in your career and invest in getting the right tools so that you can succeed you're never gonna elevate. Number four, organize yourself. You really have to organize yourself because your managers and your team are managing a lot of girls and a lot of models. It takes about 30 to 90 days to get paid. Yeah, so if you don't have things written down or somewhere, you're not gonna remember, you're not gonna know. So organization is key, especially in an industry that isn't organized. You wanna make sure you're organized because you wanna succeed and you wanna get all your money, okay? Five, use social media. Okay, honestly, I don't care what industry you're trying to get into. If you can, use social media. It's going to really help with everything you do. I cannot say this enough. If you want to model for a brand, let's say Skims because Skims is killing it. If you want to work with Skims, go on social media. Look at what Skim is doing on their page. Look at what kind of models they're booking, what kind of content they're showcasing, and replicate whatever you can from that. Okay, the way to really use social media is kind of like using it as a portfolio or an extension of your portfolio. So use it. And honestly, don't be private. Don't be private because you miss the opportunity of that casting director or that person discovering your page. You don't have that much time when people are online and like people have very short attention spans. So if you do get to a point where the casting director or someone that's doing production is on your page, you want them to be able to access your page. I need to like hurry up because I need to go. Number six, no isn't real. Point blank period. If you're gonna be in this industry, you have to understand that this is an industry of no. So you're gonna get no so many more times than yes. It's literally made for no. It's an industry of no. And one yes can change your life. Why should the no's matter? So no does not exist, okay? Keep going. Number seven, take control. Listen, this is an industry where if you're not taking control and you're not really, you know, moving things forward, it's not gonna move forward. If you don't take accountability and like look inside and see how you can do better, you're probably not going to get better i think the reason i have been in this industry for so long and thank god i feel like i continue to grow and like still be able to work is because i take control if you really want longevity in this industry take control it is nobody else's career but yours even if you do have a full team and so many great people on your side it is still your career so until you take control it's not really going to start moving at the pace that you want it to move I don't have a clean... <laughs>
Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. I just got it. <gasps> it didn't break. Oof. Anyways, let's get back to it. Number eight. Have fun. Have fun, please. You're a creative. This is a creative <laughs> industry. I mean, look at my shirt. Creative. But have fun. Don't take yourself too seriously and switch it up. Collaborate. Find your creative flow again and just have fun. I think that's what's going to keep you innovative. And I think that's also what's going to keep you here long term because you're having fun and you're not letting this industry burn you out. Which brings me to my next point. Study. Study, study, study. You need to study. Whether it is studying how to pose, studying your line, studying how to walk, studying even down to your favorite people that you see on social media, study them, see what they're doing, see what's working, what's not working. One of the best ways to learn a lesson is from somebody else. So study, read books. If you wanna really do this long term, do your homework. Oh my God, I just did my whole lip and didn't record, but anyways, we made it to my favorite part. Blush. Listen, because I love blush. You can give me a cream blush, a powder blush, any kind of blush, a blush with a highlighter, a peachy blush. Listen, I am a blush girl. We also made it to number 10. <laughs> number 10. Number 10. Just keep going. Anyone who's successful will let you know that they just had to keep going. There is no secret. Keep going, don't give up. If you speak to anyone who's successful, they will tell you that they just had to keep going. Even if they wanted to stop, especially when you want to stop. I'll say it again. If you wanna be successful in this, especially in this time frame, you probably can. Is it easy? No. It is a lot of hard work. A lot of the hard work most people won't see. And it's also an industry of no. However, if you're persistent and you take these tips and you really work on your craft, study, get organized, all the things that I said, you're most likely gonna be successful. So yeah, this is 10 things that I learned in 10 years of being in this industry. I really hope that you learned something from this video, that it helps you in your field, and your career. If you have any questions, make sure to write them below and comment and I'm gonna make sure and try my best to get back to each and every one of you and like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this i told you i'm gonna be on here way more often thank you so much and see you next time